A special fund set up to pay for advanced cancer drugs today slashed the number of medicines it will pay for by more than half. NHS England is dropping 16 of the 31 drugs on its list. Cancer charities are calling it a hammer blow. Nina Nana has more. It's a subject which could not be more emotive, yet much of it comes down to cold, hard cash, the cost of extending a life. Passionate about travelling, Larry Rees says the groundbreaking drug of Braxin, which he has been on for the past three months, has kept him alive, fit and active. He has terminal pancreatic cancer and is angry that in future new patients will not have the chance he has been given. I know that many of the um, pancreatic cancer patients who could be afforded maybe another one or two years of life are actually going to die. We're switching them off. It's goodbye. They, were, they haven't got anything else on offer. And it's time that we actually dealt with some of these issues um, because this is life and death. Sixteen drugs were removed from the list today, which are used to treat 22 different types of cancer. The cutbacks followed continuous overspending by the Cancer Drugs Fund, predicted to go over budget by £70 million this year. But health charities are now warning that more than 5,000 patients could miss out on treatment. NHS England says without the drugs companies cutting the prices they charge, they have no choice. We have a limited budget. We must work within that budget. We, were in, we are in danger of exceeding that budget by millions of pounds. And every million of pounds that is used in the cancer drug funds means we don't have that million of pounds available for other cancer treatments. Larry Rees agrees with critics who argue for a new system for evaluating cancer treatments, but he is just grateful to be facing a future at all, however long that may be. Nina Nanar, ITV News. And, by the way, the full list of drugs affected by today's decision is on our website at itv.com slash news. Still to come, a first look at tomorrow's...